Tampa won a huge game against Boston yesterday, 3-1. They've won seven of their last eight. That team's hot right now, whereas Toronto, they've lost four of their last six. They're sliding a little bit. Those two things happening at the same time now means that Tampa's in the conversation for the third Atlantic spot, a spot that the Leafs have held pretty firmly for most of the season. And Toronto, on the other side, is now in the conversation of being that first wildcard spot. Now, Florida and Boston are in a dogfight for first place in the Atlantic, and it looked like for a while the Leafs in that third spot were going to play whoever lost out on that first place in the Atlantic race. As we know, TD Garden's been a house of horrors for the Leafs in recent playoff series, and Florida pushed them around and out of them in five last year, so some Leaf fans, even TSN, is asking the question, is it maybe better for the Leafs to fall into a wildcard spot and get a new playoff matchup, i.e. Carolina or the Rangers? And by the way, even if the Leafs do fall into the first wildcard spot, if the first team in the Metro, be it the Rangers or Carolina, has more points than Boston or Florida, whoever finishes first in the Atlantic, they're still going to have to play Boston or Florida. Either way, though, it's very much a be careful what you wish for type situation here. Just because this core hasn't gotten beaten in the playoffs by the Rangers or the Hurricanes, that doesn't necessarily make it a better matchup. I mean, those two teams are so good. I've seen some people argue that, oh, there's the mental component in Boston, Florida, where they're at a disadvantage because of the recent history against those two teams. It's better for them to play Carolina or New York because they don't have that recent history. I don't agree with that. Like, they're professional athletes, first of all. That should not be even part of this equation. If anything, they should be hungrier to beat those two. But also, if you want to go on a run in the playoffs, you're going to have to beat some good teams. There's no sense picking and choosing who you want to beat to get an easier road. Again, not even saying that Carolina or New York are easier opponents, just I don't think that argument from certain fans holds up. I think that whoever they get is a tough out and they should be ready to face the music no matter who it is. And I'm not saying that the Leafs aren't. I just think the fans who are hoping that they get to a wildcard spot so they can get a Carolina or a New York, they need to be careful what they're wishing for there. I learned my lesson in 2019 when the first in the Western Conference Flames drew the eighth seed avalanche and I was overjoyed. Yes, look at that easy opponent. The Flames got schooled in five in that series. And I know hindsight is 2020 now what the avalanche had become, but at that point, Kale McCarr hadn't played a game for this team yet. They were less than two years removed from one of the worst seasons in NHL history. McKinnon was showing some frustration and they just squeaked in that final eighth spot. You guys know I like the Leafs. They're my second favorite team. I want them to do well in the playoffs. It doesn't really matter to me who they get in round one. What matters more to me is to see what this team's actually made of in the playoffs this year. Is it the same as every other year where they're going to crumble or are they finally sick of it and they're going to do something about it this year? I'm more interested in what they're going to do, not who they're facing. If anything, I want to see how this team responds after those constant losses to Boston and that one against Florida last year. Throw them to the Wolves right away. If they fold, then we know that this team wasn't meant to go on a run in the first place. As usual, give me your thoughts in the comments. I'll see you in the next one. You're awesome.